Conference of Elected Officials follows up. 911 Administrator. We are updating the radios and the additional radios are, have been installed. Uh, they're prepping today and the actual upgrade to the console will be completed uh, tomorrow afternoon. Also, two uh, staff members are attending PLEA training to uh, make the training program certified through the state. And that's it. Okay. Yes, sir. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, I keep getting emails about 911 yes, sir. and your incompetence. Yes, sir. Can you explain that? I mean, this yes. is the update, correct place. The sheriff has taken a literal attack on the 911 dispatch employees to show incompetence with the employees. As of late, the employees were set up to fail by a deliberate attempt by the deputies of the sheriff's office. What they did was that they took a, an operator that had more experience than 95% of the employees. They did an overwhelming amount of radio traffic having uh, and then calling in to distract that operator, which that's normal activity. She's supposed to be able to do that. However, the high volume of radio activity, uh, she failed to 1090 a deputy. 1090 is checking up on a deputy out on a traffic stop. During that particular event, the uh, deputy involved, oh, which by the way is a deputy that very rarely does traffic stops, but the deputy had the recorder writing with him. And on top of that, the deputy failed to give uh, dispatch a, a notice that the female was writing with the deputy, or the recorder, I don't know if it was female, the recorder writing with the deputy, nor did he provide the beginning mileage with this recorder or the ending mileage with this recorder, which is common practice. So the dispatch center is under a lot of attacks by the, de by the sheriff's office uh, and if, if it continues, your dispatchers will soon be leaving because they're tired of this. So you're saying they had a ride-along? They had a reporter ride-along with the deputy, yes. And that wasn't reported to? Dispatch. Dispatch? Yes. It is a shame that we have a leader in this community that exerts ill behavior so bad on himself that he has his own employees do the same as him. It is lack of integrity and lack of honesty. Well, on this, on this right one, though, well, Mr. Isken, what, what the, what's the liability on, on that? Don't they have to file a, a, a form, a waiver, all kinds of things, where the county is held liable if there's an accident? The liability is always a question on the right or wrong. Uh, I believe the, the sheriff's office has a current right or wrong uh, policy, and I know as they've been updating policies, uh, I'm not sure if that one has already been updated uh, or not. And I wish I could quote the policy, but I, but I can't. But there, I believe, is one. Mm -hmm. But how do we? What's that? What's that do to the county if, if dispatch doesn't know that they have a right or wrong? Well, to make it real simple for, for, from my perspective is my understanding that dispatch needing to know who would be involved in any particular event, that way it can be related to others if there's an incident or a problem, if there are either two people in trouble, one person in trouble, or, or, uh, or, or things that, of, of that nature. I think it's the simple point of May I also point out that during that traffic stop, that recorder was exposed to OLEP's responses, OLEP being confidential and only privileged to law enforcement and certified operators. We do have a, a, a contractual agreement with OLEP that, that spells out what we can and can't do. Um, what's OLEP's? It's the statewide teletype system that houses data for your tags and oh, your okay. wanted person checks, driver's license. Well, that, that is a, that's a huge liability. I mean, am I right? Mr. 
Mr. Iskey. Well, based upon the facts presented, uh, again, there are, there are questions that need to be addressed, yes. Is there anything that can be done about that? Because I did hear the sheriff on television saying uh, it was a train wreck and I believe someone was going to die, was the quote, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but again, that's the liability on the county. If Is that why our uh, deductibles have risen so much lately? Because of some of the claims from the sheriff's office? I think that's only 911. Anything to do with 911? Well, if they don't know about it. Yes, sir. I would like to address some of the issues Ms. Hamilton brought to the board today. Can, can, uh, can I? Let me just point out something, Commissioner. This is an announcement section. This is not a dialogue. This is not a debate. If you want to put it on uh, as an item to, to, to discuss, I, I think it's. You know, in, in, in the true sense of the Open Meetings Act, I think that's what it should be done. This is simply an announcement, uh, uh, period. This is more than an announcement to take place. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Leader. I, I agree. More than an announcement, you have the right to say something. Uh, in reference to, to some of the incidents Ms. Uh, Hamilton's bringing up, as far as the ride-along program goes, it's an internal document that's filled out. Background check is conducted on the individual that's going to ride along with the sheriff's office. Those individuals are not allowed to ride more than three times in any given year uh, with the sheriff's office. After that's completed, they also are aware of the things that they listen to. We want to talk about things that come over the radio on OBEX. Anybody that's got a half-decent scanner can listen to any of our traffic they want to at any given time. And guess what they hear? OLEX returns. There's nothing protecting that information to go out over the airway. If a deputy is out there sitting in a restaurant, sitting on a traffic stop, talking to the person that's right there with them, if we don't have earpieces, most of them, that stuff comes over the airways. Guess what they just heard? OLEDs returns. So that's minimal. Minimal at best. To, you know, as far as the, the complaint reference that. The issues that we've had with dispatch, I myself have had issues with dispatch. When we talk about them, production and what we expect from them. To, uh, to be overwhelmed with traffic, currently right now, we're, we're trying to bring more people on to our dispatch center. And what little traffic we produce, if that's overwhelming, where the dispatcher can't do their job, then that's an issue. Sounds like one of the other agenda items Yeah, I think we're, we're done. Yeah, yeah we're done. We're done. From now on, we'll do it on the agenda item. Yes. To protect the county. I got it. I got it. Okay? Yeah. On the OLIS issue, the difference between the example you're giving, someone else listening from their home, that is different from this incident where it is county sponsored. We have a contract. I'm not going to debate it with you, sir. I'm, I'm not. All right? Sir. That's the point here. Our, our point is protecting the citizens of the county from liability. Not a citizen who's sitting in their house listening to the radio that they're free to do. So that that is how the I hear that, and I think our carrier would hear that. Uh, and as to the ride along program, I, I appreciate the fact, and I am aware of the documents that you talked about, and and uh, I hope those were properly documented and, and retained. And, and I appreciate you mentioning that you do have a policy and that. The best of your knowledge, those were, that was followed in this case. So I appreciate that, sir. Okay, thanks. You done? Assessor. Building operations and maintenance. He is out running solid today. So it's a